Today we're talking about something that may not be on your radar, but should be. Cancers that show up right on your face. Why the face? Well, because it's always out there, catching sunlight every time you drive, walk, or even sit by a window, and that should not be underestimated. Your face is like this front row seat to all that UV exposure, and over time it adds up, especially if you skipped sunscreen in your 20s, which is a lot of older patients in our clinic. So let's break down the three most common types of facial skin cancers you should know about and how to spot them early. But first, welcome back. I'm Dr. Marie Azizian, a board-certified general surgeon and IFM-certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on skin health, food and supplements, functional medicine, surgery, and the latest medical research to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share with your friends, and subscribe. So first up is basal cell carcinoma. And this is the most common skin cancer in general and on the face. And it loves sun exposed areas, especially on the face. It often shows up as a shiny bump on the nose or forehead, sometimes filled with little blood vessels inside or a sore that keeps coming back and never fully heals. The good news, it rarely spreads, but the bad news, if left alone, it can grow deep and leave scars or even disfigurement. So it's like that quiet house guest who overstays their welcome and starts rearranging your furniture. So next up is squamous cell carcinoma, and this one is tougher, rougher to sensation, to touch, and a little bit more aggressive. It may appear as this crusty red patch or a, a thick scaly bump, or again, as a sore that doesn't go away. It tends to pop up on the side of the cheeks, on the forehead, on the lips, and unlike basal cell, squamous cell can spread to other parts of the body and lymph nodes if ignored. To use our overnight guest analogy, it's kind of like a guest who starts arguments at the dinner and then invites more trouble. So finally, we have melanoma, and this is the most dangerous of three. But while it's not as common, it can be deadly if not caught early. Melanoma can look like a new mole or a change in the existing mole, and it may have an irregular shape, uneven borders, multiple colors, or it may just start growing quickly. It may become itchy too. So the key here is knowing your own skin and noticing anything new or changing. And when in doubt, get it checked out. So how can you protect your face and your future self? Here are my top tips. Wear SPF 30 or higher to your face every single day. Yes, even if it's cloudy. Avoid tanning beds and intentional sunbathing. A tan today can mean a scar tomorrow. Get a full body skin check once a year and keep an eye on your own skin in between. Take monthly selfies of your face. It's not vain, actually, it's smart because you are tracking changes. Remember, most facial skin cancers are caused by chronic sun exposure over time. It's not just one beach trip. Unless you got severely burned, then it does count. So, but usually it's cumulative. So the earlier you catch a skin cancer, the easier it is to treat. So show your face some love, protect it, check it, and treat it well, because your skin tells the story of your life. So let's make it a healthy one. If this video helped you learn something new, give it a thumbs up, share with someone you care about, and hit that subscribe button for more skin-related, skin-smart content. Your face is fabulous, so let's keep it that way. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.